Alright guys, so you want to start off with a bra or a bikini top that fits you nicely. And this is actually a bralette that I made in a different video. I will definitely link it down below and at the end of this video. So I'm going to start off with this piece of fabric and I'm just going to place it over the bralette. And you want to make sure that the wrong side is facing up. So I'm just taking this makeup crayon i don't even know what this is lip liner and i'm gonna mark all three points of the triangle so once i'm done with that i'm just gonna go ahead and cut this triangle shape out and i'm gonna also make sure that i'm leaving room for seam allowance so i like to fold my projects in half um so that i can make sure i'm getting the most accurate cut that i can because i want everything to be symmetrical so once I'm done with that, I'm going to open it up and this is what it looks like. And I decided that I wanted it to be a little bit wider on the top. So I'm just going on to some folded fabric so that I can get two pieces, one for each side. And I'm just cutting around this to make it a little bit wider. So this is what it's looking like now. And again, folding it in half and just evening it up once again and then when i open it up you can see now i have two identical pieces and they fit me nicely so now i'm gonna take this black fabric which is gonna be the lining and i'm just gonna place this triangle on top and go ahead and cut that shape out um and once i'm done cutting this shape out i'm going to trim it down because I want the black lining piece to be smaller than the green triangle piece. So I'm just going to finish cutting this out and now I'm going to move the green piece away. Then I'm going to go ahead and again fold this in half and then I'm going to trim it down. so i'm just gonna place it on that green and now you see the black is a little bit smaller than the green part but i wanted it even smaller so i'm just going back in one more time and i'm just gonna trim up that black triangle one more time who can love you like me So now that it is a size that I like, I'm going to go ahead and cut this um, size triangle out one more time, of course, for the other breast. Okay, so now I'm going to take both of my pieces and you want to make sure that for the green fabric your right side is facing down then you're just going to place that black lining piece on the inside and you're going to fold over each side and do a zigzag stitch along each side so first the left side then the right side and of course you're going to do that on both of the breast pieces <laughs> And after you're done with that, you can go ahead and fold up the bottom and you're going to sew another zigzag stitch. But make sure you sew this zigzag stitch right on that raw edge because we're going to need it for a funnel. So now I'm just going to go ahead and make the strips. And for the top, I need four strips. So two is going to be for the shoulder pieces and then I'm going to connect the other two to make it super long and that's what's going to go underneath my breast and around my back. So I cut out four pieces that were equal then I'm going to sew these two together so that it can be the extra long piece and then once you are ready to sew your strips you can just go ahead and fold them in half and sew all the way down that cut edge and you want to make sure you do not sew it flat 
You do not sew next to the fold. You sew on that raw edge because you need it to be a funnel so that you can do this next step, which is sticking your crochet hook through the funnel. And then once you get to the other side, you can go ahead and take a little piece of the fabric and kind of latch it onto that tooth part of the crochet hook and then close it. And now you should be able to just pull that strap and flip it right side out. So you're going to do that for the two shoulder pieces and then as well as the long piece that's going to go around you on the bottom. And once you're done with that, you can go ahead and sew the strap to the top and I just sewed it straight up and down. And yeah, so now the next step is going to be to take the long string and you're just going to insert it through that bottom funnel that we made on the top so sticking the crochet hook through latching the string on and pulling it out the other end and then of course I'm gonna repeat the same step on the other side and you guys that is literally it once you're done doing that you can just go ahead and tie some knots on the end of the string so that um, it doesn't come out when you wash it and you're done so I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did be sure to give it a thumbs up subscribe down below and tag me if you make your own string bikini um, if you want to see how it looks on feel free to head over to my instagram page i didn't want to put pictures or video of me wearing the swimsuit in this video because they would try and demonetize me and i don't have time for that so again i hope you guys enjoyed make sure you check out part one of how i made the bikini bottoms and i will see you guys in the next one